Yes, hello adventurers and welcome to the club. What you see here is a little bike cycle tool pouch. This one was actually quite interesting. Ejection molded in one piece. Then they folded it and you can just close it then. But they used to be made out of leather. They fell out of fashion because people were stealing the contents out of them. <coughs> yeah. That's the problem with this kind of stuff. I mean, how many bike cycle tools needs a person? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, they even made them, by the way, with a lock, but then people just cut them open, so yeah. <laughs> well, this one is a pretty basic one. It's from about the 70s. And since I have restored a bike cycle, or made it work again, <laughs> I'm thinking about putting some tools and a bit of a kind of a survival kit in here. So let's start this out quite simple with some stuff. All of this nice stuff here. <laughs> so I will put in some medical gloves in case you have to work on the bike. Don't want to have your hands all greasy, or in just case you have happened to stumble across an accident or something. I mean, people are having accidents all the time. So let's put this out of the way and show you the stuff. One thing by the uh, one thing after the other. Okay, that's a simple old key with a button on it. The key doesn't have a lock anymore, but it got a flashlight. So. And since people are probably stealing it anyways, that's like the cheapest kind of flashlight I have. Just enough to, well, see a bit in the dark. Talking about light, I'm using a disposable lighter. It misses the metal part here, but otherwise it's fine. I have wrapped a bit of a bread tire around it to keep it from discharging when it gets pressed in. Hand sanitizer. Also to get your hands clean. Could come in handy. <laughs> a large paper clip, you know, in case of a MacGyver repair or a MacGyver style escape. <laughs> a screwdriver. This one has bent because it's a very old plastic, but it's fine. Talking about tools, currently I have just this little wrench here, if you want to call it a wrench. It's just stamped out of metal, not even the hardest one, but they used to make special tools for bike cycles oh, fly. <laughs> that, are, that have more than one wrench on it, all the sizes that are standard on a bike cycle, but I can't find mine, so... Till I find it, this wall has to do. Probably scratch my name into it. You know, so the thief doesn't have too much fun. Here is a little exacto knife blade knife. It's just a tin can crimped around it and a bit of clear tape so it doesn't rust. It's just a, so you have a little cutting tool. Never know when you need it. A zip tie. It's a reusable one. In case you have to repair or fix something to your bike. The probably most useful thing, duct tape. Not much, but enough to put in here. Bit of small wire. Tea light candle. Self-made micro tea light candle. <laughs> a spear bulb. Because my bike cycle has a dynamo and doesn't need battery operated lights. I mean, yeah, people, are, I don't know why, but people seem to like this kind of light, but I don't like it. As soon as the battery is empty, you're sitting in the dark. With this one, as soon as you push it, it lights up. Yeah, and 
last but not least some bandages actually this, those are the hospital grade ones with the aluminium paper so they don't stick on your wounds that's the good stuff not the cheapo kind of thing and now let's put it all in So, let's start with our zip tie. I have formed it a bit over a lighter so it fits easier in it. But it should glide right down here and uh, you see that fits very well. Now we're taking glove. So, yeah, let's fold the gloves. Just roll them in. They are not sterile anymore. But it's more like, yeah, like against grease or if you have to help someone, well, never know if a person has AIDS or something else. So let's just put them right here on one side. Next to those little bandages. Yeah, we put them in like this. So now, some tools on the other side here, the front. Those little vibes, they go in the back. The lighter goes in this way, keeping the sharp objects away from the gloves. Also the screwdriver goes in this way, soft side. Let's be clever. <laughs> yeah, that'd be clever. The little candle. The knife blade. Spare bulb. Mr. Paper Clip and the flashlight. Flashlight goes on top because, oh well, we don't want to search for it in the dark. Now let's see if it still closes. I haven't tried this yet. Perfect! Yeah, and by the way, I haven't mentioned it, but this is like the thing that you hook in behind your bike saddle. So it's also shielded from rain from the saddle itself. But yeah, there we go! <laughs> Little bike cycle survival kit. Survival and toolkit. <laughs> yeah, I like this idea. Wonder how long it will take till someone steals the contents. But nowadays the good thing is people don't expect there to be anything in it anymore. <laughs> That's why they have given up opening each and every one they see. I mean most of the times they just bump it in here with rattles. So it yeah, doesn't really rattle. So they probably assume it's empty. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I will probably upgrade it. That's just my Try to get an idea till I go on a bike tour. So, well, I give you an update if I update it. Hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have any suggestions, what else to put in? Well, put it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I like this. That's a good idea. <laughs>